Um, as we change the subject, we have to now focus on the issue of management of public sector funds and also <coughs> public corporations and boards, etc. Because these have come up the last couple of weeks, yeah. and and I know all of you have made critical insights or or, or, or comments on, on on these issues that come up. Um, reports in the media is already indicating that an interim report on the 2014 expenditure account of the Kolebu Chin Hospital, that means audited accounts, okay, has made allegations of infraction against uh, the former board and the management of the hospital. And the Ghana Audit Service, which conducted the audit, recommended that a number of individuals be made to refund an amount or amounts totaling 966,116 nine seven Ghana cities to the hospital. Among the specific, the report touched on irregular allowances paid to the special assistant to the former chief executive and, and went on about the former uh, board chairperson, etc., uh, etc. Et I mean, the management of public funds. Ms. Adekoka, I have to start with you. And you have made a lot of comments on yeah. it. I mean, I mean, when you wake up in the morning, and you realize that such Headlines. Mm. Are you a member of any public bo corporation board? Yes, I am. Mm. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, and you realize that uh, public funds are just being dissipated all over the place. It's a cause for concern. It's a serious cause for concern because, you know, our economy is challenged and all of us are trying very hard to ensure that we pursue people who have been put in place of responsibility, right? When they go about and they don't protect the public purse, then there's cause for concern. Uh, this is an audit report. I, sup I think those who have been asked to uh, refund money probably were also given hearing. I thought we were going to read the part of wh wh whether they've been contacted and what is your response. Sometimes it is very difficult early in the day to start apportioning uh, a blame. Mm, mm. It's an audit report. What, what were the responses of those who have been indicted? It's very important to hear their side of the story, right? And 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 mm. and then okay. Anyway, one contacted the yes. former chief executive, yes. uh, mm. Reverend Buki, rubbish mm. allegations mm. made against him mm. in the report, and and then uh, a former board chairman, mm. uh, Mr. Diana, also mm. expressed surprise about an audit undertaken in a year that had not ended, mm. and, and 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 the thing goes on. And see, on. That's that's what I'm saying. So because you need to you need to really if it, the, the headline must. Must, must, must give us cause for concern. But I believe in a civilized society, we always have to give hearing to the other side of the story. So for now, I would say that it is wrong for us to have officials misappropriating public funds. That we must condemn it, and the government must take relevant, necessary action to stem this kind of thing. But also, it is imperative that we allow those who have been indicted or so to also make a statement for us to interrogate mm. these things. Mm. Otherwise, we end up rather creating another uh, 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 set of problems where mm. probably it, it's not there. Some of, some of these things you must be very careful. Mm. But I agree with you perfectly with that. There's too much dissipation of public funds. By Is the right word? Corruption? You don't mention it. <laughs> 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 no, we are, we are, it's, it's more than yet. We just have to we choose anyway. the words carefully, anyway. you know, because he, uh, well, we know that corruption did not start from today. Yes. It started yes. from yes. the days of others. Stop <laughs> but you must make, take the corrective measure. It cannot, we cannot allow it to continue like that. Mm. Uh, if you take a critical look at, at many of these things, it's not as if that um, the well, money, the monies were paid to individuals, but they were misapplied. Well, sometimes yeah, maybe the board, my point to be. The, the board would want to buy a car yeah. and instead of buying a modest car at a modest price, it's, you know, the flagrant abuse and, and, and non-austerity that is usually attached to it. Well, uh, I would say that, you see, if you go into any public service organization, mm. there is the employee blue book and then they have the financial memorandum spelled out there. And so normally, those who take the pain to read all these things are those in the, who are in the human resource uh, department and the accounts officers and all that. And so if you come there and you are a tanker manager, such a book is given to you. Or you are schooled on how you can spend money within your department. 
when you go to the assembly, for instance, I've been in the assembly member for two terms, presiding member and all that. Even being a presiding member, knowing that it is only just two terms, they will take you for at least a week's training. Mm -hmm. Because the presiding member will help the assembly in taking decisions in their spending and everything. Sometimes even it is currently that they have changed, the programming law has changed such that the presiding member has no uh, authority in signing those things. But you approve of every spending that we have to do. So you need to know what is allowed within your the process of managing the assembly. And so I, for instance, just for one time, I was taken to school for at least four days. Went on a Monday evening, Tuesday to Friday, and then oh, everything was more or less uh, given to us for us to understand. We kind of answered questions, blah, 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 before you went there to take your position. So that you know that if you are going to do A or B, and doesn't fall within that financial memorandum, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do it. If you are a land manager, and you have such a book or rules in the organization, and you are spending, you must always remember that the rule says A, B, C, and not contrary to that. So if all these things are there, and it says that, as maybe managers are supposed to use not more than 1.6 liter uh, saloon vehicles, or uh, directors are supposed to use well up to 1.8. I'm using Cocoa Board as an example where I went. You cannot go beyond that and go and buy any, any car that you want. Mm. If you do that, and the auditors come. Mm. Or the risk is. Yes. Don't query. And so if this report come out, and this is there, out there, I'm wondering whether the corporate is there in every auditor before the, the report is written. You are given a chance to come and explain why you did that. And if you have your budget line and you are spending and you want to go beyond it, there's always opportunity for you to justify why you want to do it. Okay? The chief executive who is a spending officer for any organization should be on top of all these rules. And so if you want to justify or if you want to spend something outside what the rules uh, uh, prescribes, mm. you have to write a letter or a memo to the chief executive justifying it. And if he finds that it is very important that we do it, then such a memo will be covering the expenditure that we did. And so when auditors come and you find all this and the question you are able to answer, it is captured in the report. No query is raised against you. And such uh, a report will not come out saying that someone has squandered money or misapplied money. But if you sit down and it comes out that you have misapplied money, then sometimes, of course, they are abusing the powers and authorities that come to that position, knowing that maybe in that in there nobody can uh, question them but you see even as board members they may not have the technical expertise in the areas that they have been put they are technical men there that is why in ghana here when people keep saying that politicians are corrupt politicians are corrupt i i find it very very difficult to understand them even if they are put in that position it's a technical person the chief director the directors of those areas they are supposed to direct and guide the the deputy minister or the minister or whatever so that he doesn't go beyond what he cannot do so if all this is, if all of us are working very well, then there shouldn't be any case of misapplication of funds or corruption or whatever. Those who do that, to me, I think that they do deliberately. Because I, I was just about to say, in many of these instances, and indeed, over the last couple of months, we've been hearing about a number of all these coming up, etc. At what point do we say that there are people who really also have served adequately and diligently for whatever... Um, positions that they've been asked to fill in whatever capacity etc that as we have all these reports and all these audits coming out don't tend to malign them and also tend to tarnish the good work that they seem to have done over the years yeah I mean because there are people genuinely who have done the work yeah. I mean, you can't just say a board and yeah and sometimes it, it, it tarnishes and scandalizes people uh, uh, unfortunately that is the that is the, the cross that you have to carry in this country people are not interested in the good side of it's as if there's a blanket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're happy to whether they are MPP members or NDC yeah, members or yeah. any public yeah, servant, yeah. etc. And I, I feel sometimes it's not fair. Yeah, this is this this is news that my brother here been recommended or been applauded for giving a medal for something, some good job that he has been done. That will not come to the front page. That will not. But then, like you said, a lot of people have been doing a good good job in the country, and they are not acknowledged. But the other side is that a small infraction. And hey, why it's, it's headline news and all the good things that you've done in the past is just uh, uh, destroyed. So we also are part of the system. We, we, we like to press the destructive button most of the time, right? Like we said, as we, uh, we've been saying uh, earlier on that sometimes it is even prudent for people to be very circumspect about.
because the pictures that you put there, uh, Eddie Annan and, uh, and then Reverend Butchie. Reverend Butchie, you know, in, our, in, 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 in this part of the, our, our society, I mean, these, these are people that have a lot of credibility. Yeah. You understand? This thing goes out, some of them might not read the story through, and hey, why? They've been destroyed for life. You know, so you rightly say sometimes you should also be a bit circumspect about how we go, but still we shouldn't condone this kind of behaviors within the, the, uh, our social and, and, and public sector uh, uh, management. It, it, it's, it's a cause for worry that our people, like you says, some of them, my brother here alluded to the fact that there are certain rules and regulations that one has to go through. So if you deliberately flout it or you consciously break the rules, then that is where you made your mind that look, I'm going to amass wealth. Yeah. So I'm so I'm going to disregard the rules, uh, the principles. And it is this get rich quick syndrome that is also making us <laughs> people going there within one year they want to buy V8, they want to build mansions and that kind of thing. And what punitive measures are we taking to mm. stem this? Because thing? I was just about to ask you, uh, <laughs> Mr. Kwetu, do, do you think that we're taking steps enough to make sure um, the the monies that are lost through the, the, the public financial system are, are, are either kept, minimized, or perhaps stopped at all? I mean, can we get to there? Of course, you may have losses, et cetera. You may... If you go to any public organization or civil service for that matter, they have their audit system. They have the internal auditor there sometimes. Internal auditors, mostly with my little experience with the public or civil service, are not liked within the organizations. And sometimes they are also your troublemakers. The documents go to them, and it will take them umpteen weeks mm -hmm. to get it done. So sometimes they just bypass them and send the voucher somewhere. But other than that, the internal audit is supposed to stop any misapplication of funds before it is even yeah. expended. You understand my point? Yes. Because he is being put there, he understands the financial memorandum, the rules and regulations to everything. I remember when I was the special assistant to uh, uh, a chief executive of Cook, but I don't want to mention his name. He was getting sick at the back and he wanted to go and do this chiropractic. Mm. Yes. But the rules of Cocoa Board allow certain diseases. We have our cocoa clinic. Okay. And so if anything, I have to go to there. Mm. So being a special, oh, write a letter to do so that I went here. He went for that thing. Special, you know, treatment. special treatment and wanted a refund. And the director of finance himself and the director of audit, after getting a letter, keep straight. As a special assistant, you always have to they'll go through, through me before seeing the chief executive. And when they went there and to him that, please, this is so, so and so and so. I said, oh, okay. Oh, that I've been fooled myself. And all this while I've gone ahead spending this. I thought that as a chief executive, anything concerning you, <laughs> by a rules you could. Uh, no. Somewhere within it. I also didn't know. I also didn't know that it could have, he should have gone through the director of health, okay, for him to be recommended. In other words, if Cocoa yeah. Board doesn't have that facility, blah, 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 before you go outside, you go outside and go and do it. If he went ahead to spend that money and wanted, he said no. He understood it. I hope you get my point. Okay. But someone would have, would have said that, oh, this chief executive, I want some position, blah, blah, and then we approve of it. It would have been the mistake of the chief executive. It would have been the, to me, mm -hmm. the mistake of the, the director mm -hmm. of finance and the director of uh, audit. And so since that time, he knew what to do. So what I'm saying is that for any misapplication of funds to occur, the internal system should be able to stop it. If we are all up and doing, and we think about Ghana, it should stop before it is even spent. Because no expenditure occurs without uh, auditing. To me, in what of my little uh, experience with public and civil, civil service, no expenditure should occur without internal, the internal auditors auditing it. So those who do it, ignore the internal auditors and go ahead and do it. And so when auditors come and they are querying them, of course then the internal auditors will say, oh, well, I don't know about this expenditure. I don't know when it occurred. They are only themselves. And you, the chief executive or whoever did that expenditure, will have this freezer, the issue squarely. So that's how. So our internal system, our internal audit system should be made to work. And they should also, sometimes they said too much power and authority sort of that, hey, you can't do this unless you come to me. Oh. Meanwhile, it may be, and that's oh. a, at what point do we take people and uh, uh, hold people responsible for actions? Because in, in this part of the world, it never happens. Roland, yeah, the system, institutions must work. Yes. I mean, it's as simple as that. 
when when the institutions are working, I mean, we we'll we we'll have less of this. But uh, most of the time, like my brother said here, we ourselves flout the regulations. And how many then who do you hold responsible? You want government to hold those people responsible within the system, right? There should be checks and balances. Once once the rule has been breached. The 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 the, the uh, action that needs to be taken must be, but you know, once time somebody pick up a phone call and say, oh, "My brother, you know, this is my cousin," you know, oh, and then the matter dies. Right? So all these contribute to all these contribute to we are not allowing the systems and institutions to work um, until Obama has to come all the way from America to come and that tell is. us that we must allow institutions. Uh, hmm. Look, in other jurisdiction. I rem uh, you remember this uh, British minister who just had to w w w uh, uh, took a bus ride to work and uh, went to demand uh, more than what she paid mm, for. Mm. Civil society we did 24 hours. She had to resign her post. Mm. There was right? even this MP who mm. apparently mm. Um, collected 7,500 mm. pounds mm -hmm. or so mm -hmm. and had paid for, I mean, when they, they travel, travel with the family, mm -hmm. I think travel with the husband. Mm -hmm. So that money also paid for the bill for the husband from from the parliament mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of the UK. Mm -hmm. and yeah, quickly as yeah. you know. Yes, because, because of that. she was yeah. queried. Yeah, because a whole the committee yeah. was formed because mm -hmm. of her. Yeah, because the institutions Eventually are working. Has to resign, you know, so we have to we, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, but in Ghana, we're talking about huge sums, not only in Ghana. Because if the institutions are, 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 are working properly, you won't get the huge stamp, you won't arrive at the huge stamp. You will have nipped in the bud at the early stages. But then we don't, so the huge stamp will eventually, after two or three years, cumulatively, it, come, it becomes a huge stamp because those <laughs> monies were not embezzled in one day. Yes. It has taken a lot of years. Not even a month. Not even took a month. It took a long time. Yeah, because such money, even if, 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 if if, for instance, uh, you see somebody putting, uh, I mean, uh, if, if we find Roland putting about five billion in his bank account in one day, alarm bells should be. Oh, well, he's on TV. He's on TV. Now, now, now the banks the are so beginning to do it. Yeah, you know, the banks are beginning to, uh, to do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. What if I put it in, in various well, accounts? Well, that's the problem. We can't. Yeah, so you can't can huh? You can run away. Uh, because you want to put it <coughs> some. That, that would mean that you have to negotiate with the person paying you. No, not say I'll put it in various accounts around, <laughs> Break in, them down. In, in, <laughs> including microfinancial institutions. So, but you see, savings and loans. I'll put small some. 50,000, 20,000. People do that. Yeah. They are doing that. Yeah. But it's yeah. Roland. My main big Because I know if I go and put bulk, I'll be caught. Be caught. <laughs> My main yeah. issue has to do with our traditional system. I never knew I had a very large family mm. until I became an MP. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you're, you're, now, you're yeah. better looking than you were. So, so someone can. Oh, so you're seeing the pressure uh, that is. My, my cousin, I mean, my. Very long on this. So when they come. I said they cook. I, I, I give him pressure all the time. <laughs> yes, yes. So right. when they come. Look. Between so that's part of yes, the whole thing. Yes, between last two weeks and then maybe until the end of this month, mm. the amount of school fees that I have to pay, yes. you can't believe it. Yeah. Because they know we have done it for A, mm. who is... Yeah, yes, yeah, it happens yeah. a lot. Oh, you oh, have to pay oh, fees. Yes, and, some, somebody was sitting amazing. on a radio station and uh, said, my hand is P.O.P. So what? You P.O.P., do you have much money? But maybe because you haven't gotten your share, mm. it's P.O.P. Mm. Mm. You because you're original chairman. Yeah, you understand? So, so these it are the that you are at the top, you are the one chopping. Yes, you know, and th this are, these are the problems. And uh, it goes on and on and on and on and on. And so I said, like my brother said, that breeds the corruption. So yeah. every day you, you must be looking for money. To, f to fund that. It's not as if it's your personal activity. No, 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 but no, no, no. So you must be tough to say no. And if you say no, you go out of the. You, are in you lose your. Then you lose your. <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> but that's the principle. Are you so. having how many people contesting? Five people. Yes. So those, that, they, they are splitting the opposition votes. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. That's you are lucky. <laughs> so Roland, you see, we must, we must all think, to me, every time Ghana face, and mm. you must always ask yourself, mm. why did God create me? Mm. Why am I on this earth? Mm. What am I here to do? Mm. If you're able to answer these questions, my brother, you know that life is. Something, something. Uh, there's uh, <laughs> yes, proper like inspiration you are giving so. Okay, let me change the yes. subject. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still on, uh, no, on the public issue. The subject of uh, a two percent increments in petroleum prices, and at the pumps when you go there, it will increase marginally. I've, I was made to do a calculation, and um, 110 crude 
that was Reduced the cost, mm -hmm. the cost of, of, of a barrel of crude oil mm -hmm. on the international market and then reduced to 80. And the percentage reduction um, uh, uh, resulting in some 21.8 percent in excess. Okay, when you take we do a proper calculation of that, it means that we should have at least seen not less than 10 percent. I mean, yes. if we do it, all yes. that. But the the MPA has come out and categorically stated that over the period when uh, the city has not been stable and they had to deal with the BDCs and the problems they've had, they they, ha they had incurred some losses, and as a result of that, they needed to offset some of those that. Uh, were debts in their books. And that's legitimate concern. No, Why are you shaking your head? No, you are for the masses. No, so you are speaking yeah, for yeah, the masses. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> this gymnastics must stop. <laughs> this gymnastics must stop. Why? Look, when it comes down, it has to. You also must bear the losses. We, 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 we are, the, the, the public have been curing these huge increases and we're complaining. So when there's relief, it is important. It should, it should reflect. They should come and give it. They should also be able to carry on the loss, uh, carry some of the losses, you know, because we were, when, we were, when we have been, you see, this is what happens when you have government interference coming in. You have been given the rule that uh, you, 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 they keep telling us that you must pay for the market value or whatever it is. Mm. So when the thing comes down, let us pay for the market value. Because when it drops, it's going to affect the economy. Prices are going to come down, and there's going to be relief across the board. There'll be some ripple effect. So that's why we ripple effect. But if you come and tell us that you are incurring losses, or, in, so or, or influence inflation at the end of it, will come down. Yeah. So what? So you might as well not have reduced it and let us keep paying what you are paying for. But come and tell doing mathematics and gymnastics. I believe it, 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 it's, it's not the right direction. Me, 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 Mr. Quetz, what happened to automatic adjustment? Yes, ah, that's what <laughs> I was going to talk about. You yeah. see. I really don't yeah. understand them. If you say there's a formula, yeah. <laughs> someone who, who read my bodies, he said there's a formula. Mm. All the key mm. ingredients, the integers, so it's the formula. just key. Yeah. Yes, it's just there. So when the price is there, automatically it adjusts itself. And mm. the final answer comes up. Right. So yes, yes, so the next time, so why are they so so the next time when it's going up, we cannot complain okay. because we can justify that. Look, when it came down, I gave you the full relief mm. that you that you need to. So now it's going up. I'll be very happy when I hear things like that. But if you come in after, you come and tell me that I'm a, they might as well not scrap that uh, uh, automatic adjustment formula. formula that you are talking about. You know, we should, we should allow the institutions to work. And mm -hmm. when we don't allow them to work, we have a problem on our hands. Hasn't this got to do with um, government's expenditure and, and, and how much is used, whether subsidies or not subsidies, et cetera? It was initially okay. controlled by the pricing of uh, fuel in general was initially controlled by the government. My government says that, no, I'm going to use an independent body to do it. And so if you are set up an institution to do a task for you, just mm -hmm. allow the institution to work. Is if here, what is happening is that I would, I would say that probably there is some pressure coming from the government saying, hey, don't give them that rebuild all, all of that. Uh, that's politics. It's not to true. me, yes, mm -hmm. to me. So that's, that we can make some money. That's your conclusion. Yeah, that's my conclusion, to make some money. To, other than that, if the formula and the institution is being allowed to work. Then is, is it, we shouldn't even But the MPA is a public authority. Yeah, yeah honorable, so, honorable. Yeah. You see, if you allude to everything, we should rather be talking about MPA. Uh, uh, because the MPA is, uh, <laughs> is, is an independent you know, it's organization. An organization. No, yeah, it's an independent well, organization. Well, we, but we, we, I, don't, I don't want us to say that government is interfering with When we do that, we are defeating the whole... Let's talk about them doing the right the thing. Writing. That's what we have to... To me, yeah, they, they have the guts. Yeah, to do the right thing. That's all. Is it Roland? They are talking about the exchange rate and all that. It is a factor in the formula. And so when the exchange rate is going up, it's Bank of Canada that controls the exchange rate. So every day, when you go to the US, you have there for a very short while. Fuel prices change daily. Daily. Very insignificant. You don't see it. Because it's the price and other factors that they have determined. Someone is controlling it. So you go today, say you want to buy it, you see some marginal increase, point zero zero one percent increase. At other times it comes down. Nobody even have you had any uh, demonstration going in the US about fuel or that? No. Because it is working. Yeah. The formula and everything that is agreed by the, everybody in the country is working. That's what we should have here. When uh, uh, the dollar is going up against the city, what do we say? They will always come out and say, oh, it is not because of the price of crude oil, because of the uh, exchange rate. It's because of the exchange. Now, the price has come down drastically. The exchange rate has also come down. And over the years, we are now having a decrease. And you see, to me, it's, it's an issue. Uh, 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 dollar went as far as about 3.8. It's about 3.15. You get me? And now 
you just did a calculation about almost 22 percent reduction mm -hmm. in the price so these two factors when you apply to the formula should bring fuel down to me uh, between 10 to 15 percent decrease and government will still make some profit to take care of other activities <laughs> this is no good yeah. you see you are going to make money from this and nobody will even come out to come and tell you that with this reduction or this uh, maintenance of the price this is how much you have made and this is where we are going to put it probably to more or less develop further our energy sector don't come and tell you that's what is worrying oh well, you know this money should be going somewhere and uh, to me it's not the best we should have Ghana at heart please okay so the right step needs to be taken yeah. um, how is this going to influence um, the price of transport etc transportation well I don't I don't think uh, they, they, they're going to. I mean, two percent. It's insignificant. It, 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 it's, it's so marginal for the, for them to. If that come down about ten percent or something, yeah, then then, then de definitely. Then that will have a, yeah. a significant. I mean, and and, and, and I, I, when I come here, I don't like to play politics with it. But I see, just for just for the the sidekick. This has been a huge political gift for NDC. <laughs> to, <laughs> to reduce it. To, 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 to reduce uh, it. And bring, and bring the pressure on the government make, out. You know, it. make a noise about this yeah. more. But yeah, but you, you cannot come and sit here and talk about 2%. But mm. well, we are all buying from the same. Uh, the president currently is in the UK attending uh, the Global African Investment Summit. It's opened. Uh, the president is saying that despite Ebola, um, West Africa is still a good place to do business. Um, I, the, the sub-region is still a good place to do yeah, business. See, Roland, I mean, despite all the difficulties we're not necessarily about Ebola. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, Roland, the, the economics in the sub-region are not doing too well. Yeah, Roland, we said the exception, that, of course, Nigeria. Yeah, we said that, you see, if we speak too much about Ebola, 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 our economies will be in danger. Look at what's happening in uh, Sierra Leone and Liberia, right? There's huge economic problem because of... So we should still maintain that West Africa is still a very vibrant economy. We shouldn't give the impression that we are all on the verge of being extinct. The president has said the right thing, and all of us must encourage people to come and invest here. With Ebola or without Ebola, we will have to survive. OK, I know you have to leave us. And uh, let me just ask you one or two questions. Mm -hmm. How's your election going? Well, one, still an injection? Uh, we, uh, NEC is meeting today to look at the court issue in Kumasi. Okay. And then a decision will be taken. They mm. just said we should, we should resolve the matter internally. Mm. Now we are, we but the more time you have, that's good for you? Or, or it means you're spending a lot more money? Oh, yeah. Well, well, every day that this is hanging around, it's creating Ebola in our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's critical. <laughs>